This box has been taunting me in my office for over a month now, begging me to open it. But I've resisted just so I can show you guys on camera. These are the RGB matrixes I'm gonna use for my digital con batch project. So let's open them up, see what they're like, and maybe play with them for a little bit. Today on ROM Labs. All right, so these are two 32 by 64 uh, pixel LED matrix displays. Um, came all the way direct from China. Link below in the description on where I got these from. So let's go ahead and get these open and see what they're like. What do we got? I got two of these. I did buy two of these, so I got some foam here to protect them. And the display itself, and look at that. That is cool. Um, it's, it's surprisingly light. Um, and it is really neat to look at. That's the panel, and that's the thickness. So. You have the LED there, the PCB there, and this is all plastic frame. My plan is not to use this big plastic carrier on them, so I want to see how it looks without it. And I'm actually very curious how it's attached. So what I'm gonna do is put this down here. And of course, we're doing the EEV blog. Don't turn it on, take it apart. Oh wow, okay, that's, that's interesting. So, it's literally, I mean, it's just a PCB. You're actually screwing that, that, um, plastic frame screws directly into the PCB. So that's uh, interesting. Not, I, I think it'll work as long as I keep the screws the same. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of support around the edges. So that'll probably be a really tight fit, but look how thin that is, right? That is so cool. Um, obviously the the, the headers are really big. I don't think I'm going to keep them. I don't think I'm going to keep that. I'm going to need to remember to keep an eye out for the um, capacitors because they're the tallest thing on the board. I'm not going to try to like remote mount those or anything, but that's... You get that carrier off and it's literally just LED PCB in the actives on the back. So included with each display seems to... Okay, so... That's actually kind of interesting. These are magnetic screws. Um, so included with them is four of these screws that seemingly attach to the, the back here and are designed to, I guess that's a way you hold it on is you use magnets so you can make them easier repairable, I guess. Um, so you got four of those. You have a cable. Simple ribbon cable, uh, I want to say, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 pin ribbon cable. And you have a rather robust power um, harness. And this came from both of them. So I guess each one of these is designed to power two. Let's go ahead and uh, get this set up and do some testing on it with uh, a Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let's give this a shot. I got a couple things here. First, I got the 20, I'm sorry, the 32 by 64 RGB matrix. I got a Raspberry Pi Zero wireless. I've attached a header. I have installed the most recent Raspberry and Pi uh, distribution. I've also gone through and installed the Adafruit software for driving the, the bonnet. I have a stock bonnet here. I've made no modifications to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and attach those two together, just like that. 
there we go. With this panel, there is a through and up. Uh, I believe it should go like this for pin one. I'm gonna attach this to the bonnet. One other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the supplied power cable, take one end of it, plug it into the back of the RGB matrix here properly. So it fits over just like that and snaps in. So I'm then gonna take the positive and negative leads and attach them to my, the, the bonnet here. So black is to the right and red goes to the left. All right, so got that all set up. I have a, over here, which you can't see, I have um, two power supplies. I have a five volt power supply that's running about two and a half amps just to drive the, the matrix itself. And then I have another five volt, two and a half amp power supply to power the Pi. Um, it's very important that you power the Pi separately with a setup because these things can take a lot of power. Let's go ahead and cut this on and I'll get access to this via SSH. Okay, so nothing obviously happening on the panel itself, but the good news is I got a five volt LED is good there. I got the power on there. I'm gonna get into my Raspberry Pi via SSH. Hey, there we go. The following clips are demos included with the Raspberry Pi RGB matrix library. Check the description for a link. These are in 32 by 32 pixel mode because I messed up the settings of the command itself. These displays are awesome to play with and I can't wait to get my own graphics working on them. I hooked up the second display and recorded the demos again with 128 by 64 pixels. My goal is to modify this library to better work with my plans to display animated GIFs on the badge. Finally, there are some Python libraries available, but as you can see here, they run very slow compared to the C equivalents. I'm going to try to use C for my project. So what do you do with some cool RGB displays? Well, let's do the outro with them. Thanks for watching. Part 3 of the Con Badge project will come once I get more software complete. As always, like this video and subscribe to ROM Labs to keep up to date with my projects and most importantly, keep making things. Thanks for watching.